Look alive, ladies and gentlemen, sports fans around the world. We are two of Millie Goats for episode 118. It is March 31st. It is National Tater Day. Happy Tater Days. If you're a baseball fan and you like home runs, you can yell taters all day long if you'd like. But Tater, also... Tater's a classic like nickname, too. Yeah. I mean, if you had a tater in your group... Tater salad. But happy Easter, too. Don't forget do you that. Think, do you think that's just a southeastern thing? Tater? Like a yeah. southern thing? Yeah. Like, do you think they do it out west? No, not out north? west. I think you got a better shot up north because, believe it or not, there is a lot of country up north. I mean, there's Buffalo area. There's cities, but there's a lot of country up north. Yeah, you'll see that if you go to Buffalo. Yeah, I mean, there's... even like Indiana, you know, True. Illinois. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of country there. You like? I'm used to so for where, where I'm from is a very small town. North Carolina, and I'm used to, you know, you see dudes, chicks, even jacked up trucks. They get out. You're like, that guy sounds like he's had a bottle of molasses with his accent and the way that he's talking and that sort of thing. It's so, it's funny to me. And they're dressed with the Carhartt coveralls or the Carhartt. Uh, now, I mean, I got that, I got that stuff too, but the, you know, the Carhartt pants, camo jacket, you know. Not me, dude. I don't have to and, fake it. I know I'm and, <laughs> and you see that in like upstate New York or in Indiana or something, and they get out. I'm like, oh, this guy's about to have a thick southern accent. And it's like, oh, what's up, boys? And I'm yeah. like, nope, that does not compute with my brain. <laughs> you guys bring your Labats? <laughs> yeah. Some uh, Saskatchewan. <laughs> What's up, ladies? Oh, bear with the machine gun here. Yes, yes, yes. We're here to talk some sports. Like you said, happy Easter, everybody. Oh, man. Look at bear with the machine gun. Must have had some. He says, don't doubt the pack, dude. We got, we're going to take a look at that Ooh. here. It's just, it's just J by and I. I mean, you look, dude. DJ Burns might as well just go ahead and I don't know. I don't care what Zach Eady does. DJ Fit. Burns, player of the year. Player of the year. I, I today was the first game, and I only watched half of the game that I've watched Zach Eady play, and he's ba he gets babied, dude. He does. He gets the babied. same thing. He does the same thing every time he gets the ball. Every time he gets the ball, he does this, and they call a Up, foul. Out. <laughs> Up, out. They call a foul. Time. I it just. I don't know. Yeah. There's he made something. his free throws, though. I, You know, I he made his free throws. Something, Clemson, something Clemson didn't do. DJ, DJ, DJ Burns is going to cook him. DJ Burns is going to put him in a blender. Not defensively, but he's going to have him so messed up footwork-wise. DJ Burns is incredible. Just, hey, Buku's here. Jaeger. Did Jaeger win? Yeah. Oh, dude, I got something for that. Oh, my gosh, dude. I was watching the end of it, or I had it. I was listening to the audio on our way back today from visiting Family Five. Happy Easter, everyone, by the way. Did you do any Easter egg hunts? Oh, yeah. Did oh, yeah. We did, did it one, two. Friday, Saturday, we did one today. <laughs> and we were all, we did it, we did it all. Did you hide? I hid. I looked. I found. Oh, they did, did one for you? Well, you know, we got three year olds, so she wants to hide them too. So it's okay. She wants to flip the script. Yeah. What's well, funny though? I mean, I'm sure your kids are the same way, but like, you you go look for them, and you know, I'm not gonna lose. So I obviously found more than her, and I was trying to rub it in, and then she changes the rules and says, "No, you only can win if you found this one, and it's the one that she has." That's your daughter right there. Yeah. That is, she's already got your your. Yeah. Hey, it's. You you never lose. I know. Never lose. Don't lose. Can't lose. <laughs> Change the argument if you do. Hey, like never is, lost. Is Brock Purdy the best quarterback drafted in the, the last three years? Yes. What about four years? Didn't say that. I said three years. 
Never lost. Come on, Dylon. You know that. Don't come up in here with that saying four years. And that drives Dylon nuts because he's like a psychology dude too or something. I don't know what he is, but he's something up there. Um, but yeah, uh also this. You know I love low country boils. You know low oh, yeah. delicious. For the first time ever, I had crawfish. I had never ever in my life had crawfish until Saturday night. And it was pretty good. I'm all about it. You you get a couple of you get a couple of big barrels or pots or whatever you want to call them, and you fill them with oil, and you dump shellfish and potatoes and corn. I'm there. I'm in, and I'll try it. I don't care. We did. Heard there's a big debate about crawfish this year, though. What do you mean? Don't tell me that now. I already ate them. <laughs> well, nothing like you're gonna get sick, but um, like they're like sixteen bucks a pound or something. Oh, see, I don't know. I was, I so was, they're expensive. To... And you know, for a pound, you're getting like this much, like a tiny bit of meat. Yeah. You know, it's, you're it's, not getting that much. It is like a lobster shrimp type deal. Like you, you take them and then the guy, cause I had no idea what I was doing. He's like, look at this dude, look at all these crawfish. And I, by the time we got to the end, I was like, and you just went on a rant about how country you were. And I, and I looked at your him and I was country. Like, I said, <laughs> I said. You're going to have to give me a tutorial on how to use these because I don't know what the f I'm doing right here. But hey, you're Luke Bryan. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're Luke Bryan. Not, he, I never said I was country. You, you you're said, assuming you that's I got all I the I got all the stuff. The car hurts. You have the stuff. The, I, wear, I got I, all the stuff. I got you, a big, you know, Arctic camo Sims fishing jacket with some with some nice wind pants and some. I got some extra tufts. Like I wear the cowboy boots yeah. every time I go out. You're presenting the argument that your country. No, I'm presenting the argument that I like to do certain things. I do love to fish. You know that. That doesn't make you country. No, it doesn't. But that's that would be considered, you know, like that would be a country activity. It's like Tex try, saying that he's a big hunter. Never seen him kill anything. No. Never, oh, hey, hey, boys went out there and we spotted a few deer. It's like, yeah, dude, I spotted a few deer in my I went to Texas. Yeah. Oh, I was born in Texas, raised in Texas. Texas where I died. Bury me upside down. I bet, so that, I bet I've spent more nights in Texas than Texas. Probably. I spent like four the other day or in, in uh, September. So I think if we power ranked who's more Texas right now, it would be me. No, it would be you. Because you've probably been in Texas more. And then it would be me this year. And then it would be Tex. And then Butch P, if he can get over there. So Tex is the least Texas. Yes. Hey, there you go, Bear with the Machine Gun. You got hey. the boots now. j just got his first pair of boots. I did get my first pair now, of boots. Now, look. You know, everybody's Ostrich. like, oh, you're, you're faking. And it's like, you haven't put a pair of boots on them because they are. They're a lot more comfortable than they seem. They are. And they look good, too. I got a lot mm -hmm. of compliments on my boots. You got the ostrich too. I just got the. I got a couple of pair of Ariat boots. Those are. I know my uh, my cut. Well, this Michelle's cousin's husband. He's he's Texas all the way, and I went out there. Me and him went boot shopping. He, I mean, you know me. I, I try to go cheap. I'm cheap. <laughs> he he goes. I'm not gonna let you do that. I can't let you do that. I like the respect. Respect. He said, "I'm not letting you come here and buy a pair of boots and you go cheap." So I went. I went. I would probably say I went mid range, mid to high range, but mm -hmm. I got a nice pair of boots. Mm -hmm. I saw them. You needed those ones, and you needed that hat that was there, the cowboy flat bill. That was yes. That would have really been yeah. Hey, Buku, crawfish was it was good. I had no idea what I was doing initially. I had I'm gonna be full up honest right now, and then bear with the with the machine gun. Um, there's a difference between outdoorsy farmer and a hey, in country. I think. We need to make a poll. There's that's, there's redneck. only one. There's there's redneck too. Is redneck oh, yeah. is redneck country, or is redneck redneck? I think country can be redneck, or redneck can be country. I don't know. Country necessarily means redneck. Like you got to define. I'm not going to define redneck. Hey, water cooler not, debate. I like how I like it. I like. Uh, yeah, you got to oil us. They're, they're they're like. Uh, it's like a baseball glove, man. It's like it's when you're an adult, you don't buy new baseball gloves unless you play church, you know, rec league softball or whatever. You get boots and you treat your boots like you, you know, stick a stick a baseball in them and then set them under your bed 
Yeah, so you get nice and with a, a rubber band. Yeah, lather that baby up with oil. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so crawfish, that was awesome. If you are watching now, you don't get to finish the show, check out our podcast. It'll be out tomorrow morning. It's everywhere you find your podcast. Apple, Spotify, iHeart, Good Pods, Amazon, whatever. I don't think Google's even running any more of their podcasts from what I heard. Here's a, a, another thing before we even get going. The boat. Boat's back. I saw that. Boat is back. It was a great weekend to go out on the boat. Yes, it was. We got a little a, windy. We got a little, little um we got a little beach here by, by our house that we took the kids to today. Mm. I mean it was a great day to be out. Beachster? Yeah. Lake life. Lake life. Oh, you got the sticker yet? No, not yet. Well, <laughs> I got one, but I'm just waiting for Edge to come pick me up on his boat so I can put it on his boat. <laughs> no, dude, you gotta put it on your windshield back. <laughs> Lake life. Get you a shirt. Uh, dude, I'm telling you. Oh, 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 we were getting ready to get to that. Wolfpack. Mm-hmm. Dude, I know. That's my uncle right there. That he is on cloud nine. That's your uncle? Yeah. For the dude, first he, time. His profile picture looked like he was like 25. Dude, he's got. I think he's got. Yeah, he's got long hair and everything, man. He He's styling. So it's cause, it's cause he could, hey, dude, he can, he can play it. I he mean, can he rip can, it. He can rip it. No doubt about it. He can absolutely rip it. He slaps the he's bass been, or his guitar. No, no, no. He play. He, he's he's face melter. Nice. He's face melter. Um, he. I know he's been dying for this since nineteen eighty three. So I got to watch hey, with Jimmy my father in law. Uh, yeah, yeah. I got to watch it with my father in law today. That was that was a lot of fun. I'm like, man. I kept saying it's over with like eight minutes to go. I'm like, oh, NC State's up six. This thing's over. It's over. And he was just right. shaking his Question head. though. Question though. Not a lot of people know this. Not a lot of people know this. You're a Duke boy. Were you cheering for Duke or were you? No. No. You were with him? Yeah. I wanted, I went, well, partially because I had NC State seven and a half. Uh, <laughs> Dude, I'm so bad that like you guys are getting a live bet during these Dude. games. Oh, I by the way, I hate the unders. I hate over unders. I it is that is going to be the death of me. I keep trying to bet them too, and it's just a disaster. It's a disaster. Both of them went under today. Stinks. Yeah, my only unders I bet that I I bet the Iowa State under that hit, but I bet that Iowa State was going to win. <laughs> That did not. They did, they did not, and it wouldn't have mattered if they would have won against Illinois because UConn would have beat them by. <sighs> you want? <laughs> I don't know which one we want to start with first. I just had. I just. I just had. Yeah, there you go. Buku was on that money line and plus seven and a half. I'm like, if you weren't bet NC State's destined. There's just no doubt about it. I mean they 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 are a bank shot away from not even being in the tournament. Yeah, to who? Clemson wasn't it? Clemson? No, nah, Virginia. Virginia, that's who it was. I banked that shot to go to overtime against Virginia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, sports are still happening, dude. And we're just thankful that we get to watch them. Like, it's phenomenal. I got to say this. This is what I want to lead with. Also, yes, boat's working. Kids ended up falling asleep on the boat while we were out. Mm-hmm. We went and called this place we go fill up at. They have burgers. It was awesome. We drive up there, cruising, music. Get you an ice you cream. Know. Yeah, they got some ice cream. Ice cream um, sandwich, dude. It's where it's at. They fell asleep on the boat. And so my wife and I were like, what do we do? Do we go try to dock the boat? No, we just kept riding. Yep. We just rode her up and we just rode for like another hour around, yep. around the river. It was it's the only thing to do. It was phenomenal. So boat's back. This right here is what I want to start with. Dan Hicks. I think it's who it was. Did you even see any of the golf? No. I mean, I was Indian following on DraftKings. Hey, we is there anybody hotter than us right now? I have a bone to pick with DraftKings. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to save that one. Dan Hicks. So, Scotty, it, it's he's one back on the last two holes. And on the 18, Scotty just sticks one five feet. They get up. Jaeger misses his putt to birdie and really seal the deal. Scotty is five feet away. 
And what does this mother grabber Dan Hicks go right before Scotty hits? He has a missed one from inside seven feet all day. And I, mm. I, Eric from Smoke the Spread and everybody, I, we all went, what do you, why would you say that, Dan Hicks? Right before he is, and what's he do? <laughs> Pulls it left a little bit. Didn't hit it with enough pace. Jaeger wins. That's uh, that's the classic. He hasn't missed inside 30 all year. Yeah. Wide he's right. No, he's got a no hitter going. Boom. Absolute tank left field. This guy's been lights doing? out from three today. Clank. Boom. Clang. Oh, my gosh, dude. I was so mad. So, anyways, uh, when do you want to talk about the bracket? You want to talk about it now? Or you want to do it later? Well, well, I mean, if it's just us two, we can do whatever we want. <laughs> we can do it right now. Let's pull that sucker up. I got the bracket right here. Everybody knows what it looks like, but I like having it up there because we look like a professional sports show at this point. Um, by the way, bracket didn't hit it. The only one that's alive in two of my fa- in two of my family's uh, um, is my son's. Guess who he has winning the whole thing? UConn, NC State. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, he's got NC State. Well, he's got the him. wolf pack. So there's a chance my, he could let me actually check our win it. Families out. My dad, my dad found out. My parents, my parents came up uh, at the uh, middle of last week, and my dad he found out that I rigged the family turn bracket tournament, and I filled out two <laughs> brackets because I filled out the one for my daughter. He asked her, "Hey, how'd you pick the teams? Did you pick pick by the mascot or color?" And she was like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> I got busted. I got busted big time. She's oh, in third man. though. She's in third. Dude, look at this, man. NC State beat Duke can't shoot. Holy cow. That was that was a trick. They've been lights out all tournament though. They just didn't shoot today. They, or they play defense shoot. today. This game right here, UConn, Illinois. I didn't really watch. I mean, I watched some of it and then I and then I what was I doing? We were at that. No, we were, that's when I was eating crawfish. Um, dude, I saw that UConn went on a 30 to nothing run. How's that yeah, even possible? I, yeah, I, I mean, I was similar. We were um, we were eating dinner, and it was 23-23 right before half, like two minutes left before half, and we left and went home. By the time we got the kids to bed, I turned the game on. UConn was up 30. And I was like, what, what happened? Dude, is UConn that good? I guess I don't. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a basketball uh, head. You know what I mean? I'm not a leather head. I don't I mean I, they're the number one team in the tournament for a reason. I mean, they're dog walking people. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Dan Hurley um, apparently is Harbaugh's or or Hurley's. Who's more? Who's more of a coach's coach? Who's coach's coach guys? Harbaugh. You think? Yeah. I think Hurley's I mean, the, pretty. Hurley's, uh, but there's two Harbaugh's. I mean, yeah, you got Bobby Hurley, but he just hasn't really established himself yet. I mean, he was as a player, loved him as a player. Yeah, but I think he's got little brother syndrome right now. He can't, you know, his big brother's just doing the damn thing, dude, for real. And this game right here, Alabama Clemson, Alabama will shoot the the basketball. 2700 times if they want if they can oh, they don't yeah. stop shooting ever yeah that was electric <laughs> the thing is is like clemson if they could make a free throw they're in the game or they win the game they were three yeah. for 11 for from three for free throws in the second half Ugh. and they're they're a top 10 free throw shooting team and their guy fouled out hall I can't yeah. tell you the I can't tell you the amount of parlays that I put between the Elite Eight games. It was absolutely I can tell you the ones thing. that you gave me all lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And yeah, we talked about a little bit about Purdue. Purdue, I I don't I just I don't believe. I just I still don't believe. All I can see is they lost to a sixteen seed last year. Are they trying to do the Virginia and this we're all gonna be like this is rigged? I just don't like that every time ZD touched the ball, there was a foul call. CD, whatever his name is. <laughs> I mean, like, 
Big Look, Pink ZD out there. I, hey, I, I get you can't just beat the guy down, but you got to get banged around a little bit. Can we? What? What's the haircut he's got? He's got there. I don't know. What? What is that? I. That's what did you call yours? You didn't what? call yours a fade. Is that high and tight? Yeah, that's not. A, no, 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 no. He's got like a fade. He's got like a fade mullet. It's I don't it's know. Like it's like a the zero weirdest. to a two. He just shaved his side. All he did was fade his sideburns. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he just faded his. It's sideburns. like he was shaving his face and he messed up. So he's just like, just you know, just make it look good. I mean, I don't know what that haircut is. I mean, I don't know. I do have to give him credit though, because I do remember. Not a lot of people remember. I don't know how I know this. It's probably because I kept bet putting Purdue to go like, you know, national championship style stuff year like four years in a row and i kept watching him and they kept letting me down that dude couldn't catch he couldn't dribble he couldn't do anything and he has actually turned into a pretty good player like he's actually got skills but he, he still does the same all thing game. yeah like the homeboy for nc state plays like three minutes at a time burns yeah Dude, I love burns that guy's awesome did you know the other guy diara for nc state my father-in-law told me this he is on Ramadan. Ramadan. Yeah. Yeah, where he can't There was eat. like two or three guys for UConn last year that were doing that. And they That's crazy. 30. Yeah. Oh. Are you saying? Okay. That's the new thing? Get <laughs> Recruit a guy on Ramadan? It's either that or shave your sideburns off. Mm. One of the... <laughs> You know what he reminds me of it? One of those little helmet guys from Mario Brothers with his haircut that you couldn't ever you couldn't kill, you could just smush him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Look like he yeah. had one of those on. Anyways. Uh final four. Do we like it? I think so. I think these are good matchups. Yeah. I think I think this game simply because Alabama will not stop shooting threes. No, nah, it'll be a, it'll just be a running gun. Just run down the court and yank a three. Like intramural yeah. ball. Yeah, I think that. And this this is going to be entertaining because NC State actually has three big dudes that can play. Mm-hmm. And they got they got that guard, whatever is the horn. And they got insane. nothing to lose. Dude, I, they're America's team. Like, yeah. sorry, Purdue, you got mashed up against America's team right now. So, I know you're trying to exercise your demons, but whatever. So, who do you think wins these games? I guess we don't have to do that right now, but first glance, first gut. Give me your gut. UConn, NC State. Oh, let's go. Let's go. I, yeah, it's hard to pick against UConn. I'd probably pick the same thing. I, I wouldn't be shocked if Alabama won. No, just, I wouldn't either. I mean, that dude because... hit six threes for, for Bama. Sears? Yeah. In a row. Yeah. You hit him in a row. <laughs> Guy. That game, at the end of that game, like the last three, four minutes of that game, was it was all either a three pointer or a three point play. Mm-hmm. Like they were just trading three points back and forth. Yep. Yeah. That, but yeah, dude, uh, Sears, that guy, he was fun to watch. Just chuck it up, dude. Just chuck it up. I got to stop making eight leg, nine leg parlays. That's a lot. Hey, that's a lot that needs to go right. Buku agrees with me. Oh, what do you say? Key factor in Purdue is going to be the refs. Hate to say it, but they baby. Oh baby. yes. I, you, I mm. called it Buku. I said I couldn't watch the game because every time he touched the ball, foul. Well, here's here's the deal with NC State. Burns is not going to be physical with him. Burns is Burns is going to put him in a blender. He's going to put that big body on him and then just shimmy and slip around and hit a fadeaway hook shot or something. He's got quick feet. Can you imagine him a D tackle? Dude, imagine him in left tackle. I mean, he's got the feet to play a little left tackle. I don't know if he's physical enough. Yeah, what's, what, how, what, how tall is he? Six, nine? Oh, six, dang. Eight. It's hard to tell. Like, they're that big. Yeah. Because right. everybody's that big. So, there you go. That's That's basketball talk. Let's get this out of here. We'll talk more on it later. Okay. Um, 
National Tater Day started way back in the early 1840s with the trading and selling of sweet potatoes. It is the oldest continuous trade day in the United States. Didn't know that. And there are 4,000 varieties of potatoes worldwide. That is crazy. Hmm. The he- All right, here's some fun facts about potatoes. The heaviest potato ever was 10 pounds, 14 ounces. So the size of a very large newborn baby. So, you know, and then the longest peel potato strip, somebody actually peeled a potato strip round and around Mm. consecutively, continuously, five feet, two inches. That's that's the Guinness Book of World Record. So for anybody listening out there, if you got the skills to peel potatoes, you got to you, you got to go for the record five feet, two inches. How do you think they did it? I don't know. I don't know. You ever peeled potatoes? Yeah, I peel. I'm, I mean, I'm a I'm a carrot peeler, dude. I'll I'll rip up some carrots. I like peeling everything. Oh, oh, you got, I got nipples. Can you peel? Mm-hmm. You peel bananas. Favorite peel. Key and peel. Yeah. <laughs> I like to drink uh, pilsner. Ooh, pilsner. There you go. <laughs> uh, the largest potato pancake ever made was 7 feet 11 inches. What's a potato pancake? Cakes on the griddle, dude. Hash browns. They're called potato cakes. You're not country at all, dude. You're not country <laughs> like me. You don't know about you don't know the sun's coming up got cakes on the griddle. Song. That's dude. pancakes. <laughs> oh shit. Bear with a machine gun. No, that is that's not it, dude. Easter. That's what day it is. <laughs> oh, no. No, dude. What? Bear with the machine gun. You guys know that people eat more bananas than monkeys. Well, I would I, I would I would say that I would could have guessed that because there's probably more people than monkeys. You think? Mm-hmm. See, this is where we need text on his on his technological support. To look it up, I bet you. I bet you he's he'd dive right into that. All right, on the show, salute your sports dad joke. Uh, did I write one? I don't think I wrote one. Maybe I did. Maybe I got one up here in the holster. DFS us segment, the GUIS, the guys hang the banners, other relevant sports news, inner squad, Dad King's Jamboree results. All right, we have uh, salute your sports. Hit it. Okay, this is Salute Your Sports segment. We talk about whatever we took away from the past few days, and we give them a nice little salute. But first, yes, I do have one. I forgot. I wrote this one in my brain. The dad joke. Do you know why a protractor would be a good student? It's got a lot of degrees. Hmm. (laughs) Oh, man. Yes. I had one up there. I knew it. I've been thinking about it all day. Um, all right. Before we salute any of our sports, I got to salute. I got to salute Mr. Moneylines, our boy T.O. This this I, is. Dude, I'm not doing it. What? I'm not saluting Mr. Moneylines for the parlays he gave me <laughs> Hi. on Thursday. Ooh. 0 for 8 between both of y'all. Mr. Dude, you got to salute him on this. Dude. Mr. Moneylines, where's I'll that? I'll salute him for failing me. <laughs> got to find this thing. Oh, my gosh. Where is it? Oh, dead space. Talk amongst yourselves. This is worth finding. I'm telling you right now. I sent it in our group, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, hold on. What was gotta... it, a six-legger? It was a five-legger. It was a $25 five-legger. Mr. Money Lines, that's what we call him. He bet the money line. This was Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Clemson. Thursday. Clemson money line. Alabama money line to beat North Carolina. Illinois to beat Iowa State money line. NC State to beat Marquette money line. And then Duke to beat Houston money line. And that All was five of those. 
Yeah, that was Friday. So there was one. There were two on Friday, three on Thursday. Twenty-five dollar bet. Cashed out. Won it. Forty-two hundred dollars on that parlay. Five legger. E and I were he talking. wrote it out too. Yes, wrote it out because he called me. I remember he called me. He's like, "What do I do?" I was like, "You're asking the wrong dude because there's no chance I'm not riding that out. I, I, that you would no chance." And then we talked to my wife, and she's like, "You should probably, you know, you cash out, and it's more than you would have won even if you lost." And I'm like, in the background, I'm going, just "Don't do that. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. It's all or nothing, baby. This was house money to begin with. The this thrill." Is the thrill of being able to cheer it on is worth losing 25 bucks if you lose. Yeah, because that's all you lose. You never had the 42. You never had the 4,000. Yeah. You had 25. But he was, he was, that was. That's why we're bad that gamblers. <laughs> that's, yeah, exactly. But anyways, he, he did not cash out and ended up winning that money. And it was, it was spectacular. $25, five leg money line parlay turned into over $4,000. Mr. Moneylines. So, and it's time to ask the question, dude. Clemson, Alabama, basketball schools, football schools. You called it. You were first on the – what was first. the one you said, though? I said, are people going to be big mad that – or, yeah, did I say mad or happy? Because we didn't get we didn't get Clemson, Alabama this year in football. Yep. We got it in basketball. Yep. And then about an hour after you tweeted that, everybody started catching on. Wow. Because <clears throat> we did a little from the desk of J-Bi. Yeah. Happened. All right. What do you want to salute here? I am going to throw a big salute out to my brother-in-law. Mm. He has been in the Army for the last 10 years, and Friday was his last day. Oh, let's go. So we played a round let's of go. golf. Had a, few, go. had a few adult beverages, and is that it? I got to be the first to tell him, "Thank you for your service." Yes, because you you could say it. You know, it, it's it's really big on Veterans Day. Yeah, because you can't you can't technically say it to him on Veterans Day because he wasn't a veteran yet. Mm. But now he's now he's officially a veteran, so I can't wait for Veterans Day to be able to drop that line on him. 3,900 days served, almost 4,000. Oh, shout out you. Hey, that's right. Salute him. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Salute to him for sure. I don't even know how to follow up that. I should have gone first. I should have gone first. <laughs> my, my salute is to the UFL kicker for the Birmingham Stallions. You see this? I saw that. 64 yard kick. To win the game. Thrilled it, too. Side note, first field goal he's made since high school. <laughs> he, he didn't play college ball. No. Now, the Birmingham Stallions have a have a tendency. Is, are they kicker you? Oh, yeah. That's where the, the Cowboys go. Cowboy. What's his name? Buku Bear. I'm sure one of y'all know the kicker for the Cowboys. Aubrey? Yes, Aubrey. Aubrey, there we go. See, we're a sports show. 64-yarder, drilled it, wins the game, first kick he's made since high school. <laughs> Salute yeah, dude, that thing was straight, too. Bomb. Yeah. It's amazing, oh. dude. Amazing to me that you can kick a field goal that far. That's that's a, that's a an absolute tank. Yeah. A lot of leg speed. Yeah. So, but yeah. So that's the salute your sports. Uh, if anybody else has a salute uh, in the chat, feel free. We are live right now for those of you listening to the podcast. So we interact with our with with the people who tune in, and it's a lot of fun, and they have a lot of funny things to say. All right, uh, you want to talk about this golf tournament? We have the music teed up. Oh, that was good. Okay, this is it right here. This is the Houston Open where Scotty Scheffler, yet again, 
I got another crazy stat on him that I saw. Dude, when he stuffed that ball on 18, I'm like, I turned it to my wife. I was like, he's a machine. And she's like, I don't know who that guy is. I'm like, it doesn't matter. Just understand that this dude is an absolute machine. He is big. Like she didn't know who the machine is, or she didn't know who Scotty is. She didn't know who Scotty Scheffler was. Well, I thought like she was thinking that that was his nickname or that was somebody's nickname. No, he could be the machine. I don't know what to call him. He's he's a freak show. He's so much it, fun to watch. It is incredible how good he is. Yeah. Hey, shout out Edge. Just saw a picture of Edge saying somebody he hey. His son can catch fish, but not Edge. Edge can't no. catch fish. No. I've I know Edge seen, did not hook that fish. I've never seen Edge catch a fish. No. He's one of the guys that wears, like, the Columbia. He's he's not – he's more the – he's the frat country. Edge yeah. is. He's got, like, the Columbia fishing shirts and, like, Crocs, even though he – How can he say he's a Clemson fan? He wasn't even cheering for them. Yeah. I mean – you did ask him if he was going to get Clemson basketball season tickets. Wow. Well, so, it's a fair question. Yeah. I. <laughs> they're not a football school anymore. We're about to find out about App State next next year. That'll mm-hmm. be the real test. That'll we'll be the go. final. That'll be the infinity stone for App State to beat all, all the uh, teams within North and South Carolina within like two or three years. Yes. Thanos him. Um, but, yeah, we know Edge didn't catch that fish. So, yeah, he's he likes to wear his uh, Crocs. But. They're always really clean, so you know he doesn't ever do anything with them. So, where's the front boat? His, shout out his son for catching a fish. Oh yeah, I'm all naughty, dude. Bucket hats. That's what I was gonna say. I got something for that here in a minute. Uh, all right. GUIS the golfers up your sleeve for DraftKings. Three of five again. Twenty two of thirty on the year for making the cut. Not bad. Uh, our top 40 parlay of six dudes that we gave plus hubs. Cause we're always going to throw hubs in there. Cause he's top 40 machine uh, did not hit sadly. So I'm going to summarize mine by Hicks head move instead of, mm. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Dan Hicks, you scumbag for saying that right before Scotty, that probably, that probably would have won me another $20. I had a hot week in, in DraftKings. Hot week. What's yours? Mine? Well, I'll go with, hey, yo, me some money mm. for bad parlay advice. Hey, oh, wait, who, me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or or Mr. Moneylines. I had your, I had your back until I, knew, I realized it was me that you were, you were, hey, yo, and <laughs> you were, you, uh, what's that guy, uh, Razor Ramon me right there. Yeah. Hey, yo. Scott Hall. <laughs> I wanted to say RIP, but I don't think he's passed away yet. No, I saw a video of him. He does look like he's... The, the, the originator of the sexy curl. Yes, without a doubt. No question. Wrestling's back, too. I'm definitely watching WrestleMania next year, next week. Mm. Without question. Isn't it next week? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's next week. Yeah. I probably Tonight. won't watch the whole thing. Two nights, Saturday, Sunday. Oh yeah, get you a winner and getting wrecked in your your league. What league? Yeah, what was he Who talking you want? about? We Who gave you, you a winner. Yeah, text we gave you lots. Text cashed on Jaeger to win. Oh yeah, text did have Jaeger. I think Mister Moneylines had Jaeger too. He always Mister Moneylines always texts me and he's like, "Ah, cash it," and I'm like, "When? When did you <laughs> <laughs> like he and I talk all the time?" <laughs> Anyways. All right, uh, Houston, 3-5. Here's how we did. I gave you Matty Schmeed. He was top 20, tied for 21st, six under 76 DraftKings points. Butch P gave you Joel Damon. He missed the cut. He stunk. Tex ah. gave you Bo Hostler. He was tied for 57th, even 56 DraftKings points. j gave you Hoey. 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 Oi. Ahoy. hey Missed cut. hey Uh four over 23 DraftKings points. And then Dylon he made us sweat a little bit with Mr. Adam Long there on cut day, dude. I was about to cuss him up and down because I was right from the very beginning, day one. It's very rare that this ever happens. I was up at the top of this 100-person contest I was in, and I stayed there between one and three all weekend long. So that, w- that usually never happens. Yeah, and that same contest makes me mad. 
because I <laughs> beat you by 25 points. I'm going to pull them up here in a minute. And I got 30, 30th <laughs> in my contest. I didn't win you a lot, did it? You got it, it like I no eight bucks. I've been uh, I've been like messing around in different contests recently and, st- and getting away from the. I'll play the big GPPP huge like Millie Makers whenever it's like a big tournament and stuff. Yeah. Um, but I've been messing around with like the the three max, which is where it's at. That's my favorite single entries, and then finding these little like hundred person contests, seeing if I can see if I could throw one in. That's where I need to get in. I mean, I I do like I'll do a three max and a single entry, just so I can make sure that all my contests are in a money contest. Yeah, this is the I, best I've done in a while. I just I just stra- dude. I'm telling you, not to I just the wrong. Con- I, was, I was telling my wife, Mike, listen to this. I was like, AK sent me his, <clears throat> you know. How he did this week, and he cleaned dominant up. He, lineup, dominant. He he racked up, and I was like, "But I beat him by twenty five points." <laughs> and she goes, "So you racked up too?" And I was like, "No, because we played in a different <laughs> contest, and I got like thirtieth in mine, and he won all of his." <laughs> and she goes, "So not only is it luck of guessing the players, it's also luck of guessing the right." I was like, "Exactly." It, that's that's the thing you'll i mean i was in a single entry too that i won four almost four times my money but i had to pay up to get in you know i pay like because i've i built up my 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 account somehow i'm i'm able to be a little more loose with what contest signer but yeah it's it's it really is finding the right contest i'm gonna i'll i'll send you the ones that i'm Yes, that do that. We'll we'll talk about them. Uh, anyways, all right. From Houston, here's the notes I wrote. This speaking of uh, bear with a machine gun, Dunlap, Thigala, Thigala. Man, it's hard to quit Thigala. He's just such a likable dude. Uh, there's some dude named Highsmith who had a bucket hat on. Maybe. Bucket hats are like they've been back, but they're really really back on the PGA right now. Yeah. His wasn't even like the floppy one like Malnati had or the curd one like Damon. I mean, this thing was like the undertaker's hat. Yes. Like the flat brim. I don't even know if you call it a bucket hat. It looks like, looks more like a button hat. I don't I'm trying to get one of those for the Derby dude. That thing <laughs> it was so flat around the brim. I was like, that's a guy that we need to hang out with. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dunlap. Nick Dunlap had a really good day Saturday and they interviewed him after. And I just, I wrote down man of the people. And the reason I wrote that down is because he was like, yeah, me and my caddy, we were sitting there at dinner, uh, Friday night at cheesecake factory. And I was like, (laughs) did that man just Did he just drop a cheesecake factory? No free shout out. If I was him, I'd be like, I mean, you know, come on the, come on the team, come on the show, come on the, uh, the the shirt i will put a cheesecake factory right there so <laughs> and then this this was the craziest scotty scheffler i think on saturday shot over par for the first time in 28 rounds mm. <laughs> saturday saturday ended his streak of 28 consecutive rounds under par how stupid is that that's crazy I saw a question on social media at one of those golf accounts, and they asked, "Did like your local course that you play? Do you think if you had twenty four hours, it doesn't have to be consecutive twenty four hours, can be like broken up into eight hours over three days, but if you had twenty four hours, do you think that you could birdie every single hole on that course?" I don't know. I think back whenever I was playing a little more, I probably I would probably take that bet. But like if you if you shank the tee shot way right, he's start to tee it up again. Yeah, you don't have to finish the hole. You can just say, "All right, n- new chance." Mm-hmm. I don't know. Not right now. No. Twenty four hours though. No. You don't think that you could figure it out in the first eight hours? Come back the next day. I don't. 
I don't think right now I could. Like a couple years ago, yeah. I just feel like it's it's doable. But yeah, to say that he has do it that he, that Scotty hasn't, you know, he's basically done that for twenty eight rounds. He hasn't yeah, gone over par. It's crazy. That's insane. On different courses too. He's not playing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's so stupid. I, I think I read that right, but if not, I, I still believe it, whether I'm wrong or not. And they said that you could play this course for $30 during the week. Really? Yep. Hmm. $30. I'm like, wow, dude, that's Texas for you. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. Um, let's, uh, let's take a look at these lineups that we put together. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up I think I'm gonna pull up our uh let's pull up the Wodemaker first and laugh at each other. <laughs> that was my best line. Text stuff. This was okay, good. So you're gonna get to see yours and you'll get to see mine. So let's do it. All right. This oh no. We're dangerously close to seeing the account. I don't know if the money's gone through yet or not. Let me, you wanna hmm. flash it over? It has not. Hasn't gone up. <laughs> Sorry no, if you didn't see it. That's, it hasn't gone up. <laughs> um. Uh. Here's our. Uh, here's our. Well, here's one of my lineups. Uh. Let's start from the bottom. Tex. Tex. And this is the uh, Wodemaker contest. Um. Tex had a total of 290 points with his lineup. He had Digala Zalatoris, who barely made the cut. Mm, uh Hostler, yeah. Jake Knapp, Carson Young, not Cam Young. <laughs> for those for those who listened to the last show. And then Maddie Schmeed. Yeah, dude. Gotta play Schmeed. He's play he's playing good golf right now. So Tex will build some just very interesting, interesting lineups. But sometimes they're really successful for him. So you gotta give it up for him. So he finished last. He was fifth. Dylon had a lineup that had three missed cuts, but he had Scheffler, Mackenzie Hughes, who went eight under, and then Adam Long, his guy. So he was also all in on Smalley, who was absolutely horrendous, who I think finished dead last. He just so, got... No, it was Davis Thompson. I was like, I was thinking he just got married. Excuse me. Uh-oh. Fade him. Fade him. So Dylon finished fourth. I finished third. This is not my best lineup, but I did have all my guys make the cut. Scheffler, and that's Willie Z, H- yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hubs, Ryder, Novak, Michael Kim. So that got me a total of four or four. That was good for third in our contest. Butch P had four out of six golfers. Dude, he played again. Oh, dude, that's sweet. He had Scheffler, Hoagie, Jaeger, who won. So Scheffler and Jaeger pretty much vaulted him way up there. Novak, Joel Damon, which was his guy. And then he had a guy named Cole Hammer, which you have to play a guy named Cole Hammer. Well, obviously not. He stunk it up. He was not as bad as as Dylon's guy, though. No. Here you go, dude. Let's see how you did this. This is a lot of points. This is a, this would have won you a lot of money if you'd entered it into some bigger I, contests. I just don't like. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how to pick the right contest. I guess, and I was up there. I was like third in my contest at one point because Taylor Moore and Scotty were first. Then Batia gotten first, so Taylor Moore and Scotty were in second. So it's like I was rolling for a little while, dude. But body, I had a good t- the. The one that got you and me way up there is that we played Taylor Moore. He was not, Mm -hmm. you'll see in a minute, people weren't on him. But having him on there is what catapulted this other lineup that I have. How how in the world? So you had Scheffler, Hughes, Moore, Badia. Body, body, hubs, of course, because we always play hubs because he's a stud. And then Laird. Where the hell did Laird come from? Laird, I just saw his picture and I thought he looked like Jim Furyk a little bit. And Jim Furyk was my guy back in the day, so it's like, and I, I, I mean, if you, I don't know if you can do it, but I think like pulling up his 
recent play, like I don't think he's I think he's been playing pretty good. So I was just like, I'll throw him in there. You get down there in those lower, like below six K dudes, you're just looking for somebody who's playing good. Yeah. So and you try to ride that that's what I've been doing with these guys. Like I'll play them and then I'll play them again and give them out as a guy. And then hopefully the third time they're still on the rise. The only one I've missed like that is Novak. I've been on Schmied for like three or four weeks, and he just keeps playing better and better. So J Vi wins the Woda Maker. Yeah. So I I'll tell you real quick. Um, Martin Laird. He his last four were ninth, tenth, fifty four, thirty first. Is that on the PGA? Yes. Sheesh. Holy moly. The last Miss Cuddy hat was the Farmers in January. That's not bad. No. Hey, dear Laird. Oh, my Laird. Was it Tyler Perry guy? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my Laird. Oh, my Laird. (laughs) Oh. Hey, thank you, everyone, for tuning in on Rumble. We're the number one sports show right now. Uh, Buku. Look at it. Not at my home course. There's two holes that are to Oh, dude, come on. 16 out of 18. Don't make me Mr. Money lines you. Actually, Buku, you need to do this and report back. We need to get You know what we should do is film crew. We could narrate it. Mm. Mm. Man, y'all saying you got courses and stuff, Buku and Bear. I don't have a course. I would love a course. I I live on a course. You th- I think that should be the next time we do a retreat, a goat retreat. Did you also, I was reading another day. I don't know how I got on this. I was looking up antelopes because I was thinking of a, oh yeah, that was the other dad joke I was trying to cook up. I was like, how do you know an antelope's not a deer? Because it's an antelope. Wow, that did, that was a little too close to another <laughs> word that I, <laughs> I didn't actually say it out loud. <laughs> uh, an antelope is close. People think it's related more to a deer. Wrong. Antelopes related more to a goat, so hmm. that could be like a spinoff series. The Millie, the Millie Lopes, Millie Lopes. There you go. Anyways, oh my Laird, that should be your next whatever your lineup is. That's that's the next one, next name. Uh, okay, you had a best and worst. I think you just we pretty much just went over it, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, I mean that was my best concept. My worst was my guy Hoya. Who just completely stunk it up on day two. But, you know, technically, if you listen back to what I said, he I told you he doesn't finish strong. So he decided True. that his finish was going to be day two. So he just doesn't finish strong. He didn't finish on day two. And then um, I listened to Butch and I went, I, I listened to Butch one because it's his fault. Two, I, I somewhat listened to my own advice of playing the guy that I said last time because he usually does well. I listened to my own advice. So that was number two, and I played Damon, and he just... Damon. He's, he's been just, hot, though. Yeah, he's he's just, I, think he, I think he just got tired. Yeah. But he, he, he's, he has he's, good course history, so, you know, I see the logic on it, but it's definitely Butch's fault for convincing me. He's been he's been running hot too. He's been running hot. He's been getting too close. He had his like Tex likes to say his Icker swings. Yeah, Buku had some dad jokes. They were they were pretty good, pretty good. Scroll back up, Buku, finishing hole at the course. I'm a member at. Oh, you're a member. Hey, Buku, Buku member members only. It's borderline snub. No, we believe Buku. You can do it. Ten cup that thing. All right, let's take a look at my best, and here it is. Not four ninety nine like Javi's, but you see that number one right there. Your boy won. How does a golf you by twenty five? <laughs> oh, now this one was a ten dollar entry, and it was a I think it was a hundred people, and you could see right here. I got four seventy four. Next closest was four sixty three. Look at this beauty: Scheffler, Thigala, Moore. Hubbard, Schmied, Long. So as much as I wanted to rag Dylon, I have to give him credit because he did get across the finish line or the, the finish line at 
one percent owned. Schmied was eight percent, and Taylor Moore was nine percent. I just pointed at my other screen, like you guys could see it. But Taylor Moore being that low was easily the best one. So you could have oh, gotten a lot more if you didn't pick the Gala. Yeah, the other one that was right there, I think, was uh, oh, somebody. Somebody had it. I think it was uh, who was it? Let's check this out. Finau. Finau mm-hmm. and Thigal are right there. I mean, if I put him in there, yeah, we're talking, we're talking Millie, like legit Millie, 508, 510. Could have won some serious cash. Did Schmied Hawk 22 play Schmied? If he didn't, he should be ashamed of himself. <laughs> oh. Schmied. He reminds me of the guy from Captain Hook. But anyways, that was... That was a winning lineup, folks. That was a hundred and forty dollar top prize. So that's a nice little bump to the bank account. Oh, uh, a little humble brag saying the price. Hey, is it is it in yet? Oh nope. <laughs> you didn't see it. <laughs> nope, not in. Not in there. Sorry about you. But yeah, dude. I think the contest selection has been more of a I focus can get it. I could have got I I can get into that. I have enough money to get into that. Okay. I could have been I'll, really rolling. Yeah, but you would have taken mine. Well, I guess we could have gone together. But you know what was awesome? Is our logo was up there above DFS Karma. Ship It Nation. And I think there was like one more big brand name of DFS. And we were sitting at top. And you, even though you I mean, well, you still would have gotten second place points. I would have taken a 1-2 finish. 100%. Oh, and did you uh here's the next one we gotta do. The listener league. We had somebody talking a little trash to us from the betting Ooh. bros of NC. He was saying we're about to take that money. And we said, mm. ah ah ah, not so fast. And he was actually in first on Saturday, but come day's end. Not so fast, my friend. Let me see. There we go. I'm gonna pull it up right here. Money still hasn't hit. We're going to just make sure nobody sees the bank account here, even though I've already showed it twice. Um, but I was anyways. close on that one, too, <clears throat> and I had two guys miss the cut. Yep. That uh, was actually my um, – that was our guys. That's who. That's one I put in that contest is our guys and then one other person of my choosing, who I picked Scotty, but <laughs> – <laughs> and I got fifth place in that one. So we had, hey, we had two guys miss cut. Oh! We still hey, right here. This is a top eight. We have, well, I think we had twelve people join. I'm not sure, but anyways, Super James is there. He's getting better. He's getting up there. He's climbing his way up the ranks. But it was uh, Noah. Me, then Butch P. That's all who cashed. And this, not uh, oh, I'm not. Whoops. No. <laughs> oh, now, now we're playing phone tag. You add it. You add it. Oh. Hold up. Has full screen. Oh, there you go. There you go. So Noah, me, Butch P. Top three. Those were the paid prizes. So we ran the game. That guy. That guy. He was funny though. I love it. That's that's what it's supposed to be. We start these contests, and we want people to talk trash to us on social media. That's what it's all about. So there you go. And then watch us back it up. Yeah, and we did. We absolutely did. All right. Scumbags, stud bags from this week's Houston Open. Scumbags, you score 30 and below. Stud bags, you score 95 and above in DraftKings format. Um, so the scumbags were Jason Day and Keith Mitchell from your upper echelon scumbags from the 7500 to 8500 range it was doug geem jake knapp who's just been on a downslide olison and list and then from your 7400 below monty or montgomery taylor montgomery joel damon chess and hadley alex smalley all those guys scored 30 points or below you did not want them in your lineups chess and hadley has been awful lately yeah He's always a guy that you just look and you're like, wow, that guy looks like a golfer. That's yeah. a golfer right there. Long, and slender. Nice, nice guy, too. We we did some stuff with him way back in the day. 
But he's from North Carolina, isn't he? Yeah. He lives yeah. in Raleigh. Well, he used, hey. I mean, I don't know where he lives now, but he used to he, live in Raleigh. He was the one that was packing birdies out there. He had a Bojangles um, <clears throat> sponsorship. Yep, North Carolina guy. <laughs> yeah. If you have Bojangles sponsorship, you're a North Carolina guy. Because he was like, hey, let me guys take you out after our shoot. He's like, let me guys take you out. And he took us to Bojangles. And we thought it was a joke. And he was just like, no, I just got a sponsorship, so I get to eat here for free. <laughs> so. <laughs> Hey, still, shout out to him for yeah. being committed. That's what I would do. Kil- hey, Kilgore wouldn't take us there. He knows what happened. Uh, Kilgore doesn't get it for free. No. And it's a hey, no free shout outs either. <laughs> All right. Uh, stud bags, 95 points and above. High, high upper echelon guys. Scotty, obviously. Jaeger, who won. Finau had a really good showing in his, this course. Uh, Taylor Moore, Batia, Dietry, of course. I've sworn off Dietry in like the last two tournaments. He's been phenomenal. Nick Dunlap and then Toasty finally again Ooh. is back up there. He had a little bit of a neck problem I saw. So that's if if a, if a golfer has a neck injury, pencil them in for a top five, I think. It's like a um, game. That is, I mean, basically, next man up. N E C K S next man up. Get it? Yeah. Uh anyway, Scotty's a machine. That's all there is to it. Um all right. That's that's the golf course. Where are they at next week? Do you know? Is this that uh, was the Valero? Let me I'm gonna look it up really quick. I don't next know off the top of my head. Next week is the Valero. Um is that in Texas too? Yeah. Because I think the Valero leads up to the Masters. By the way, the azalea bushes are blooming in our house. I don't know the timeline of azalea bushes. Um, I don't know the timeline of azalea bushes. If they, if they, San Antonio is where it's at. Okay, San Antonio. Shout out Women Yama. Shout out Women Yama for not dressing as Jack Skellington like an idiot for Halloween. He should have. Um. <laughs> He should have. That would have been perfect. Uh, just know if he shows up next week for Halloween or next year, or this year for Halloween is Jack Skellington. You know where he heard it. Um, shout, yo, oh, yeah, Bear. Yeah, thanks, Bear. Don't forget to hit the like button, especially at Rumble, YouTube, wherever you may be watching. We there's, some, there's some guys playing in this tournament next week. Well, it's the lead up to the Masters, dude. I, I realize that, but... Have I said that enough? I would think that... <laughs> What did I, I say in the group chat? I don't remember. You, I mean, it was the Gala birdied eight or birdied on eighteen oh, yeah. to make the cut. You said it like four times, and I was like, I wanted to, I couldn't remember if the Gala made the made the birdie or not. <laughs> yes, we are definitely going to be doing a giant one dollar entry for the Masters. Uh, thank you, Buku, that we will put out on Twitter over the next. I don't know, a week or so. We'll we'll start pumping that. Everybody join. We need to crown a champion. I'd love to get it filled out at 200 one day. That would be spectacular. That would be awesome. So look for us on Twitter when we announce that contest. All right. Uh, we're going to hang some banners. If you don't mind, let's hang some banners. Music. You did it. Congratulations. Okay, hang the banners. This is where we, um, again, take something that really stood out to us in the sports world for the past week or just something that we did in real life. And if you have banners that you would love to hang for yourselves or somebody else, put them in the comments. Uh, all right, you want to go first? You want me to go? I'm, I'm going to go first this time because you <laughs> I'll right. let you do that again. <laughs> all right, I'm going to hang the banner. For the Miami Marlins concession team okay. came across this. Would you pay $52 for all you can eat at a Marlins game? You basically pay $52 and you get unlimited popcorn, hot dogs, nachos, soft drinks, water, burgers, peanuts. Is that Ooh. worth 52 bucks? 
I mean, I probably would have said no until you threw the peanuts in there. Hey. I'm a big peanut guy at the ballpark. Peanuts at the park? Question. Let's go. Do you throw them on the ground or do you put them somewhere and throw them away? Straight on the ground. That's what I said. But my wife, like, gets mad at me. She's like, somebody has to clean this up. And I'm just like, this is what you do at the game. You eat the, you it's pop like it sunflower open. seeds. Yeah, it's like being at Texas Roadhouse or whatever. Texas Roadhouse, Sagebrush, Texas yeah. Roadhouse. Name name your Texas Steakhouse chain that was in the early 2000s. That's That was the big draw. Yeah. Yeah, you absolutely throw them on the ground. Throw them on the ground. Happy birthday to the ground. Without but, a question. I think, I think to really answer your question, if... If that was if I was taking my family to the game, yes, I would do it regard well. It's, I wouldn't do it if it was just myself, because I'm not, not getting make fifty it. fifty two dollars worth. If they, if you could add like two beers in there or something, <laughs> there you go. Then okay, yeah, I would I would do that because then you'd be spending fifty two bucks. <laughs> Dude, fifty two dollars would get you like two beers. I know. There's no way they're doing all inclusive beers at the at the. Well, I wouldn't think it unlimited beers, but two beers would be all right. Yeah, yeah, you don't need unlimited beers. What about just let's compromise, Marlins? One yard of beer. Ooh, we should just get a yard of beer. One bat stick of beer. Oh, like yes, the hockey hurricanes where they they sell the beer stick. Most I'm I've been a lot of saluting and hang the banners for concessions here. I'm I'm a. I'm I'm somewhat of a concession uh, connoisseur, I think. Hey, all right. What's yours? What are you hanging the banner for? I'm hanging. That's that's definitely. Banner, well, I didn't banner. realize that we were going to talk so much basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, dude. So my hang the banner was going to be to Alabama, because I don't think that they haven't played in an instant classic yet this tournament. Every single one of their games feels like it's been a shootout, and it's just back and forth, like. Bills Chiefs 2021. Always has to throw that in there. <laughs> 13 Thir- seconds. 13 seconds. Go <laughs> ahead. Get it out of the way before somebody says something in the comments. I know. But I I mean they just like it's just fun to watch. Dude, yeah. Out, watch Alabama's. That's that's the best matchup that could have come from that from hey, in and the final four. When you go from the your all time greatest coach in football history retires your school's looking for a new identity and the basketball team says hey we'll go to the first final four that we've ever been to in program history we was it the it. first one yeah it's the first time wow, we've ever made it to the final four dude nc state out that's what march that's why march is the best march madness that's is why you best. play the game thank you I've I've said that like fourteen times on Twitter. I'm like, oh, it's so weird. Whenever you let them play it on the on the court or the field, that you get great games. And you know, you know, it'd be awesome if one team was doing it with like their third string point guard. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Who is that? There's a team, Florida State. Oh yeah, <laughs> nice. They don't belong. They don't belong. Has there been a buzzer beater this? Uh uh-uh. uh. This tournament? I don't think so. That's a shame. I, I lost that parlay that. too. <laughs> yeah, you did first weekend. That's the best time to bet it though. I know. All the games, not one buzzer beater. Mm. I mean, think about that. You've got when you let them play it on the field, you end up with Purdue, NC State, Alabama, UConn. I think it'll take a while, but the college football playoff will get there. I mean, there, the number one seed is there. You know, they picked that right. Yeah. Well, the but. top two seeds. I think. I think Purdue is the second to. Hey, we have a we have a banner from the crowd. I'd like to hang the banner. This is from Buku for the New York Yankees sweeping the Astros to start the season. Comeback wins in all four games, and the first time for the Yankees to start four and zero since two thousand. Oh man, since two thousand three. Are you Buku? Are you calling the Yankees year? Or are you calling the Astros run is done? You have to make the call. Wow. You have to go ahead and stamp it right now. You either say the Yankees are for real, or the Astros are de- are dead and done, or both. Both, yeah. You could say both. It's a good point. I had a 
him bringing that up made me think about something I thought about today because I figured Tex is going to be on. Do the Dodgers stink? Is Shohei Otani? They're three. A great... They're three and two. I think we have to say they stink. I think they stink. They're frauds. The Los Angeles Frogers. Ooh. Okay. Who's going to steal that? Who's who's going to steal that? Somebody's going to steal that on Twitter. We'll we'll go ahead and get it out there. Dodgers are they're not, not meeting expectations already. Calling them frauds. The Los Angeles Frogers. Okay, Bear with this Bear with this. He said he's doing both. So, Bear confirm Buku's take. So, there you go. Uh other relevant sports news. Chase Claypool is going to sign with the CFL. Oh, no. Has anybody's <laughs> career gone downhill faster than him? I don't know, dude. He was like a number one wide receiver his rookie year, and then he can't catch. He's He is the most frustrating big wide receiver I've ever seen in my life. Like, to be that big and dominant speed-wise – and to catch and play so small, he does the jump ball, catch it with his chest deal, which is infuriating. That might be one of the most infuriating things in sports, whenever I see a receiver jump up to high point a ball and try to catch it with their chest. At that level, too. Oh, my gosh. Um, and then another one. The Chiefs signed a rugby player. And everybody on social media is up in arms. I don't even know the guy's name about how creative Andy Reid is. And I can't wait to see what they're going to do with him and how innovative they are. And they're always, they're always pushing the envelope. And then I commented on this stupid signing. Hey, pretty sure the 49ers did this like six years ago. Didn't work out. And a very Bills prominent. Too. Do what? The Bills did it too. Yeah, like this is not like oh wow they're they're breaking the mold here. This has been done. And uh, Antonio Gates, ever heard of him? <laughs> like, yeah, uh, Gonzalez. Yeah, very prominent Kansas City account. Chiefs uh, Arrowhead Live. Chiefs Aholic? No, not Chiefs Aholic. Uh-huh. I don't know where. If he commented, we would have to get him on the show. I feel like we'd be obligated. But Arrowhead Live said, oh, you know, that guy was a, he had some whatevers against him. He had some uh, bad marks against him. Jared Hain was his name. And I'm like, okay, this, I think you said it doesn't absolve them from the fact that they're not, I don't know, even know, what'd you say? I, I said, it doesn't mean that he wasn't still first. Yeah. You can't you you make a personal attack from a very prominent account. I'm talking like hundreds of thousands of followers. They got a good ratio in the in the biz, so they say. Hey, come on the show. Come on the show. Defend yourselves. It doesn't doesn't mean. Speaking of Chiefs, though, let's go. About Rasheed Rice. What happened? I didn't see. He's he's a wanted man in Texas. What? I guess he was racing his Ferrari and Oh, is that a, what that was? Caused a big wreck and he's he's on the run. Or the police are looking for him. I don't know if he's oh, hiding man. out or what, but and I don't also don't know. I, I don't think it's confirmed that's, that he was in the car. There's it was a car registered in his name. That's what that was. So, I saw something come across my ticker on my yeah. phone that so I read, guess the police want to talk to him. Well, if he's running, then you know it's not good. Well, I, I, you know, allegedly running. Wow. Hold it on. Could, it, popped, yeah. it popped up here somewhere. It was Corvettes. And I was just like, what the, what is that all about? I don't know. I can't find it. But yes, I did. I did. Weird. That's weird. Anyways, so Chiefs fans. You don't have to be so mad all the time. Just because people are saying, hey, you didn't invent this. This actually has happened before. You don't have to do uh, personal attacks. 
Buku said, oh, for sure, Yankees here. I'm a Lifetime's Yankees fan. Going for 28 this year, boys. And F the Astros. <laughs> With two S's. Three S's. <laughs> All right, Buku. Thanks for tuning in, man. We're going to wrap this thing up, man. Just the two of us. The Dad King's Jamboree contest results. There is a tie at the top with your win. You and I both have a, everybody else is in a distant second or third, fourth, and fifth. It's not even a contest, and I don't know if you're going to win the NASCAR or not, but I forgot to enter my lineup, so I may lose the lead. So right now, I'm in. I'm currently in third. Ooh. Uh, Texas in fourth. You're in fifth. Of course I'm in fifth because I didn't enter a lineup. Butch is in <laughs> second. And Dylon is in first. And Dylon is up 14 points with seven laps to go. So Butch could go another weekend. Yes, let's let Butch not get... <laughs> hey, we got a... We've got uh, around 20 people watching on Rumble. So we're the number one sports show. Um, Bear the Machine Gun Buku. Always appreciate you guys coming. Dylon um, won. Oh, Dylon did win. Yes. Oh, did you get... Okay, Bear the Machine Gun. You got Hamlin. There you go. So for those of you watching on Rumble, thanks for tuning in here late. We're about to wrap this thing up, but I think we might be back. Sometimes we do an impromptu stream during the week. Uh, one or two of those, but our our other show is going to be on Wednesday where we we preview the uh, Valero. Is that what it is? Yes, Valero, San Antonio. And if you're just catching the end of this um, on Rumble, just go to whatever podcast you use. You can do it on Droids or iPhones, and go catch up with the episode. Bear with the machine gun and Buku riding along with us. Don't be afraid to shout out in the comments either. We love doing that. It's fun. Hang a banner whenever you want. So the standings for our DraftKings, Wodemaker, Javi and I are tied at the top with eight apiece. Tex has two. Dylon now has three. Yes. Okay. Butch P still searching for the searching for the one win. I mean, we're we're long gone from football now. I mean, that was that was almost two months ago. Butch hadn't won a Wodemaker in like two months. No. That's because he didn't win football either. I won football. That's true. Wow. Could Butch be on the coldest streak of all time? Mm. This is going to be weird, too, because I'm so used to doing parlays Thursday, Friday. Yeah, you got to have it. <laughs> like, no, I'm kind of glad because it got annoying there. <laughs> I did win one, though. I did win one. I did win a parlay. Oh, you won one, not not the eight that you sent me. No. No. Uh that Actually, sp- I wanna... The spread one that you sent me, every single one of them was wrong. <laughs> Not a single one of them was right. Not advice, dude. I did Actually, I did win a few. Was it yesterday or Friday? I don't know. I got back up to like plus $200. And then I'm not there anymore. Let's just say that. <laughs> after, today, after today's events, I'm not, I'm not currently... But you are because of your draft kick winnings. That's true. I got to see if it cashed. It hasn't cashed. It still says. <laughs> All right. Um, that's it. That is episode 118. You can see it back here. It's been I know you messed up the title. Did I? What I put? Yeah, it says Elite 7. Yes, I did that on purpose. Because it, oh. it, it was the Elite 7 in UConn. It's like oh. UCon, UConn's it, it was Elite Seven and UConn. UConn's oh. in their own. I didn't read UCon, it like that. UConn's in it. Well, great. That means everybody else didn't go like that. <laughs> That's probably why so many people are watching. Like, what are these idiots doing? <laughs> Good. It worked. <laughs> I forgot what else I put in there. Anyways. Um, and the okay. rim, arrest the rim guy. Oh, yes. I forgot to address that. Tightest rims I've ever seen. Tightest rims I've ever seen from the Sweet 16 to the Elite Eight. There were more clanging, and I call me crazy. I think that's why the under was so hot. Mm. Do you think the rim guy? You got another. I'm just. I'm just saying. Did somebody in Vegas 
know that Mr. Rim Guy, Mr. Rim Job, was going to tighten that little thread back there behind the breakaway box. Couple, couple of little extra, mm, couple little little extra rotations, turns, couple extra turns, and probably a record for unders in the in the Sweet Sixteen and Elite Eight. I would say I can't confirm that. I don't really doesn't really matter. But uh, oh, there it goes. It cashed. Finally cashed. Nice. nice. I forgot about the rim guy. That was the other piece I meant to write at the top. But thank you for reminding me. What else did I write? DraftKings. We are on a heater. Yeah, We're on a heater. There's no doubt about it. Anyways. Good time to be hot. Good time to be hot going into Masters. I also did throw out the idea to one of the more prominent DFS contests or uh, brands. We should do a contest of our team of five versus other groups of five mm. and give out individual awards and then total teams for the rest of golf season. You're starting a whole league here. Put our money where our mouth is, dude. All right. I'm just saying right now we're riding high. Just don't let me pick the contest. That's true. That's that's a good that's a good point. Uh follow us on YouTube. The Millie Goats, Rumble, the Millie Goats, Twitter at Millie Goats down there in my thing. Javi runs the inst Javi runs the Instagram account at the Millie Goats. Website and blog, the MillieGoats.godaddysites.com. Subscribe to the show, rate the show, review the show. If you tuned in at the end here, uh, wherever you were watching, if you want to catch the beginning of the podcast, it's wherever you can find your podcast. Just type in our name, the Millie Goats. I don't think anybody else has it. This has been episode 118. We'll be back on Wednesday and maybe a time. Good snap, holds down, and the Mountaineers win in overtime. The field goal is good from Jason Viteris. And the Mountaineers...